Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. We're getting back to the Exodus story today, and there's some tension in the story. We saw on Friday that Scripture says that God had heard the groaning and suffering of the Israelite people. That's refreshing. But there's, there's tension because as you read this, you may be thinking, well, it's great that you hear God, but what are you going to do about it? And maybe that's you today. Maybe you're encouraged by the word from Pastor Reuben on Friday about how God hears you. He hears your prayers. He hears your pain, your frustration, your suffering. But maybe you think, well, what are you going to do about that God? Well, in the story of Exodus, we see that God takes his first action in helping his people. And that is to come back around to the person of Moses, the one who seemed to be primed for perfect hero status, then seemingly threw it all away in a moment of rage and is now wandering around the desert. He's met some folks and got married, but now he's like this random desert shepherd and probably looks and acts and maybe even smells a bit different than his days in the palace in Egypt as the adopted son of Pharaoh's daughter. But God shows up, and he shows up in a big way. So let's listen to this. Exodus 3, starting in verse 1, says this. It says, Now Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. And he led his flock to the west side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. He looked, and behold, the bush was burning, yet it was not consumed. And Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burned. Then the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, and God called out of him, out of the bush, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And the Lord said, Do not come near, take off your sandals, for the place in which you're standing is holy ground. And he said, I am the God your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Now, there's a lot we could unpack about this. There's a lot of foreshadowing happening here. There's a lot of theological implication about God's holiness here. There's a lot of lessons about God speaking to his people here. Uh, But we can't fully unpack all of those. But what I want to highlight here is the fact that God showed up. We're left asking, when is God going to show up for the Israelites in the the end of chapter 2? And then you look at the story of Moses, and there's some of that too. God works in this amazing way, his birth and his rescue and his upbringing. And then maybe as you continue through the Moses story, it looks like God isn't present in his life in some of these difficult moments. Maybe Moses is even asking where God is as he wanders the desert where he had fled to. Maybe Moses is acting in kind of a Jonah-like way of fleeing, uh, like he can run away from things and run away from God in the desert space that he's in. But God shows up. In an amazing and miraculous way, God shows up. And maybe the only way that would get Moses' attention, God shows up. In a way that reminded Moses of God's power, God showed up. In a way that reminded Moses of God's goodness and his holiness, God showed up. In a way that showed Moses God's plan for his people and for Moses, God showed up. But Moses had to turn and look and see what God was doing in order to see all of that. So today, if you feel like you're in a place of wandering and and, and maybe wondering where God is at in your life, be encouraged that God will show up. He will show up in a way that's likely surprising and unexpected, but He will show up. He will show up in a way that reminds you that He is there. He will show up in a way that reminds you that He is good, that He is holy. He will show up in a way that reminds you that He cares about you. He will show up in a way that reminds you that He has a plan for your future. See, wherever you're at today, I hope this is an encouragement to you. And I pray that God shows up in an amazing way in your life soon, and that like Moses, you would turn and look so that you could hear something and see and experience something amazing from God in your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.